holder of power. In any city, in any country, purchase a Ouija board and take it to the place you call home. Be warned, if you are not living alone, you may be endangering those around you. Whether or not this ritual proves to be a success, there will be unwanted consequences regardless. Should you still dare to seek this object, you must have at least one physical object obtained already for this to work. Place all of the objects you own beside the Ouija board and use it to spell out the holder of bar. Should you be successful, you will notice the lights begin to die out and the objects around you become intangible. Any objects that are already intangible will be lost and returned for you to seek again. Pace around your house. You will notice how the colors have faded into a more grayish blur. The house will have contorted itself. The rooms will all remain the same. Yet what once may have led you into one room will now lead you into a different area of the house. You must find your own way to your bedroom. It may take you minutes, or it may take you years to find it. You will not hunger or die throughout this time. However, you may start to feel pain, depression, and or anger. The longer you are here, the more intense these emotions will become, until you have been completely consumed by them and have forgotten why you've done this in the first place. Once you have finally reached your bedroom, the other side will contain only a massive void. The spirit realm has been opened, and it is only a matter of time until they spill into the raptures and feast on your living soul. Quickly, return to the room with a Ouija board and spell out, What are you? The board will spell the answer. Should it spell out, Esum? Then you are doomed. There is no use in running or resisting. Your soul will join the void you created. Perhaps you may see a cloaked figure before you are eternally consumed. Should the board instead spell out him, the spirits you've released will all flood the room. They will gather themselves as a whole and take on an avatar of someone you recognize, but is also deceased. If it is a soul that holds vengeance against you, it will be granted to them. They will rend you apart with an eternity's worth of hate carried over from the past life. If it is the soul of a lover, they will hold you in thraldom to become a slave held in bondage until whatever life remaining you have is drained from you. If it is the soul of a friend or relative, they will replace you. You will feel both your life being lived and their suffering once they die again. However, should the souls form into someone you do not recognize, they will smile as they ascend into the afterlife. A light will shine from within them, restoring the vibrant colors within your home and returning it back into place. The objects will make themselves whole again along with a burnt-out incense stick where the Ouija board once was. Despite the fact that it's little more than a nub now, a thin wisp of smoke will still issue forth from its tip. The incense stick is object 2534 of 2538. It will light again when the 